the other one. Okay, I'll tell you. I swapped it for the two for the price of one of the paper turned to I want it with a coupon with pool flakes. What? Breaking me? Oh, uh, no, after Jan. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Only because you're my best friend and you promise not to tell a single soul. I've got a rich lover. Oh, that's it. I'm on. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Home. Oh, come on, Rita. I was only joking. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Give me another one of your stories. Margarita, how could you? This is not a story. This is, a, this is an epic. Oh, right. I'll win it then. Okay, so. I made, my way, I made my way down, down to the supermarket, as per usual, and there were a load of women making all my to grab up prices. Oh, yeah, what's new? Well, the point is, I mean, sugar, bread, cheese, macaroni. Never mind, meat and butter. Where was I? Uh, anchovies? No, I wasn't. Oh, yes, I was. Anyway, so, the women are making all my to grab up prices, and the manager's just trying to be reasonable and calm everyone down. Oh, how do you do that? Shouting his brains out and snatching four rolls out of people's baskets. Oh, very calming, very reasonable. Oh, why? I mean, it's not my fault, he kept saying. It's head office. They decide the increases. They're dictated by market forces. We're the market forces. It's a free enterprise, he says. Competition. Competition, I says. Competition, can we enter? And then they all start, don't they? Competition, where's my entry form? And then this big woman starts. You know her, Mrs. Um. Uh, Mrs. Manzi. Mrs. Manzi. Yeah, you know, big woman, um, spam her handbag. Oh, Mrs. Mansey. Yes, Mrs. Mansey starts and she says, you know what, Nick, we don't like the prices, so we'll only pay a fair price, and if you don't like it, we'll nick it. Oh, uh. <laughs> well, hang on, Mrs. Mansey, hang on. Nick, Nick, I said, leave it off. We'll liberate the stuff. And then? Well, what do you think? He copulated immediately. We paid exactly what we wanted and not a penny more. Some people even insisted on paying for, on credit, of course, but... Oh, what's wrong with that? I wish I thought it did. We're not leaving your address. Oh, we're not leaving your address, I said. They said. The people. <laughs> the police? Um, we're, you'll only go to the police, they said. The police? Well, isn't the business based on trust? Well, then you'll have to trust us. Ta-ta! He said. Oh, and then? Well, and then the police showed up. Oh, God. <laughs> Luckily, it was a bull's alarm. Um, some of the workers from the factory opposite told them, don't worry about the police. It's, um, it's a, uh, it's your right to pay your own price. It's a strike, they said. It's, in fact, it's been a strike. Instead of the workers losing out, it's the bosses who lose out this time. Oh, they'll be so really scared. I'm a bit white as well. Oh, she happened already, I should wonder. Yeah, well, never mind all that. What are you going to sell Giovanni? You won't like it one bit. Oh, I'll think of something. Like what? I don't know. What's the trouble with Giovanni? What's that? He respects the law. Probably is. I have already spent money he gave me. I haven't been to the electricity or the gas, mind you, I'm not really worried about the rent. Why not? I haven't paid for five months. <laughs> neither. <I'm> naughty. <laughs> Uh, last Sunday. 
Sunday she was what? This size? Some she's out here somewhere. Last <laughs> Sunday, yeah, last Sunday. Goodness, more things happen in a week. Anyway, since when have you noticed anything about what's coming? Not stupid. No? No, Luigi didn't say anything about this, and he tells me everything. Everything? Yeah, about his, about his wife, and, well, you know. And? Well, why? We work on the same line. What are we supposed to talk about? Well, maybe Luigi wants to keep something secret. Secret? What does he want to keep it a secret for? Anyone would want to tell everybody if they were expecting? Well, maybe he doesn't know. Doesn't know! Doesn't know! Well, perhaps he doesn't want to tell him yet. Who does she not want to tell you? Him, Luigi, God, who's always on at her. It's too early, we're too young, there's an economic crisis, and I mean, blimey, Giovanni. If they found out at work she was pregnant, she'd get the sack, so he got to take the pill. But if she took the pill, how did she get pregnant? Uh, well, maybe it didn't work in her case. It's not her fault, she's not to blame, why not tell Luigi? Uh, well, perhaps she didn't want to tell him yet. Hold on, this isn't making sense. Well, maybe she didn't take it. Well, it could hardly work if she didn't take it. And besides, you know just as well as I do that Margaret is a good Catholic. I'm sure I don't know why. Uh, I mean, if the Pope says if it's a sin to take the pill, then it's a sin to take the pill. That is as far as that as she is concerned. Have you gone for none? It's the pill that doesn't work. The Pope and her, the nine month old baby, and a husband who doesn't even notice? Well, how could he notice they're all bandaged up like that? Bandaged up? Yeah, well, pet, God. Bandaged yourself all up like that to hide it from him. I told her finally that if you don't undo all those bandages, you know just what you'll get. What would you get? Um, a flat baby. Oh. Under all those bandages at once I told her and stop worrying about your work. Life is too important for that. I was right to say that, wasn't I, Giovanni? Was I right? Yes, yes, very good. How am I good? Yes, yes. So, so what did she do? Well, what do you think? She undid all those bandages and out came her belly, poof, just like a marriage balloon. I told her finally that if her husband had made a fuss to come right over here and speak to my Giovanni and he would see him off. Was I right to do that, Giovanni? Very good, very good. Well done. Have I been good? Okay, okay. As a matter of fact, there was. Go on, you said you had a strike. No, it was the canteen. I went up for my dinner, as I always do at dinner time, and there were a bunch of louds complaining about the food being so disgusting. Uh, what a shame, I thought the food was really nice. No, it was disgusting. <laughs> what was the point of mass meeting? Uh, mass meeting, I thought you said it was a bunch of louds. It was to start with, and then everyone joined in. Do you know what they did? No. Everyone ate their dinner and went off without paying. Them too. What do you mean, them too? Well, um, not just a bunch of louds, but them too, them too. Even I might add the shop stewards. Well, I never. Yeah, shop stewards are supposed to set an example. Well, quite. Mm, and that's not all. What do you mean there's more? Yeah, I, I left the canteen, went for a walk right past the supermarket. No, you mean the one by your work? Yes, yes. And blow me if there weren't hundreds of women yes. walking out of that store loaded up with goods. <gasps> do you know what they told me? No, do tell They me. hadn't paid for a thing. <gasps> well, I don't know what to say. No, no wonder. <laughs> these, these, these layabouts, these louts, these... These ultra-left extremists, they played right into the hands of the ruling class, and the next thing you know, they'll start calling us decent working, responsible men, thieves, and scum of the earth. But I thought it was all women at the supermarket. It's the same thing. How do you think the men will react when their wives get home? I don't know, do you tell me, Giovanni? They'll probably congratulate their wives for nicking all that gear. Very well nicked, my dear, and off down to the boozer for a good laugh, instead of... Instead of... Instead of what? Instead of teaching the wife a lesson. That's what I'd do. Chuck the lock right of her head without opening a can. He and all, oh, I beg her, eat it all without opening anything. Oh, you would, would you? Well, yeah, I'd give her a good talking to. <laughs> mm, certainly I would. So look at any ideas, because if I find so much as a tin of anchovies that hadn't been paid for, it'd be nicked, I. I. I don't tell me, I never get all! No, worse, I'd leave. I'd pack and leave. No. I'd kill you first, and then I'd <laughs> 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 No, look, Giovanni, I mean, really. Give us a drink of milk. Well, there's no milk. What do you mean, no milk? 
but apparently milk's gone up again. Ooh. Um, so when the milkman came round, a bunch of louts, including that CP friend of yours, Not on brunch. Yep, stormed it and started selling a load of milk for a hundred lira a litre. Did you get some? Me? Buy half stolen milk? And you would have drunk it? No, you're right. Good, then don't. I can't, can I? Mm -hmm. Well, Is, that's what I'm saying. Isn't there anything else? Oh, uh, I'll make soup. Sounds good. What kind? Uh, minute. Minute? What minute? <laughs> minute for canary. Minute for canary! <laughs> it's really great for you. It's got great diabetes. I haven't got diabetes. Oh, well, well, it stops you getting it. You've been on top of Mario. And besides, we've run out of rice, which you don't like anyway. Minute. First you try and turn me into a dog, and now into a canary. Well, Gloria, you know from the fifth floor, she swears by it. She makes for her husband every single day. Lovely, I've got these, um, uh, I've got these frozen rabbit heads. Rabbit heads? Of course, rabbit heads, blindly don't know that. Rabbit heads, frozen rabbit heads, mind you, not the raw ones, they'll double that. Anyway, if you give them a bit of boiling, uh, it adds to the flavour, and, uh, don't tell me you're against frozen foods now, too, Shikani. That's it, goodbye. Where are you going? What do you think, the cat? Uh, well, I'll have money. Oh, yes, give me some money. Uh, Money. What do you mean you haven't got any money? Not the time you've run out of me. Are you forgetting that the day we ought to pay the gas and the bill or the electric, or would you like to starve as well as go flat out? Of course not. Well, then the cat is out. Don't worry, I'll make some soup. Mm. Oh, or I'll borrow from Margarita. Okay, uh, no rabbits, hits, please. Oh, don't worry, I'll bring the paws next time. <sighs> right. <laughs> bring it up. Go on. Have a look. <laughs> Starving. Super meat for dogs. Homogenized. Tasty. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. Alright, oh, she's lost the key as usual. Oh, wait a minute, it's a screw top. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't smell too bad. It's like. Pickled jam <laughs> with, a, with a soup of truffled kidneys, laced with cod liver oil. Yeah. Dog to be a madman to eat this crap. <laughs> Think I'll have a drop of lemon on top and yes, the cholera. What's going on now? Oh, Doyle, what's going on? Which supermarket? No, she wasn't there. She, she's dead against these rights. He will be rabbits' heads to prove it. Yeah. No, she wasn't out at all today. Had to undo a friend's belly. Not like that, no! <laughs> she had to undo the bandages. It's her husband, Luigi. He doesn't want her to, to get pregnant, but she listened to the Pope, so the pill didn't work. She swelled up overnight. <laughs> you don't understand! <laughs> oh, they're storming all over the place. They come here, they'll get what for? This is just intimidation and sheer provocation. Oh, oh my good god, oh, I saw the man resisting arrest! <laughs> Why? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll come quietly. Or oh, you desist? 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 I am desisting! Aren't I? What more can I desist? Does this frat belong to you? Yes. And I want you to assist me. Oh yeah, how? Beat myself up, punch myself with the nuts! Help! Stop <laughs> mucking about! What a sense of humour. Help! I don't believe it. What are you playing at? It's a search. Help! <laughs> that is the law all over. <laughs> Popping round to do you over, they can't come on the door like everyone else. No, girls not good enough for the likes of them! No. <laughs> I'll tell you what. There was this copper wanted to get a new pair of boots. This will kill you. No, it will kill me! Help! <laughs> Wait, interrupt! <laughs> so the copper. Oh, sorry. Check me out on this. What's wrong with the door? Get me out of this! What are you doing out there? It's a search. Oh yeah, do you find it? We're searching your flat. Oh yeah. You're gonna warrant it. If you don't get me, right or right, don't get shirty. Come on, look through my window, the door's not even locked. You want? It's a search. Yeah, where's your warrant? Here's the warrant. What for? What for? What well, 4,000 of Lira's market goods were stolen from the supermarket today? And he asks me what for? And you, they come through my window without a shred of evidence. It's character assassination. Call it what you like. I will. 
Suit yourself. Nothing to do with me. I only follow my orders. I see. I see. All right. All right. Do your worst then. Right. I will. But I warn you. This is an intimidation, provocation. What's worse, it's not very nice. No, you, you keep us in a state of subjugation and starvation, and you come right here to take a piss. Look at what I've got to eat. So do eat the dogs. I beg your pardon. Come on in here, have a sniff of that. <coughs> you know, I have to endure this shite because real food costs a fortune. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Rabbit's heads. Get your laughing gear on that. Oh, all right, all right, you've made your point. What's that? All reactionaries are paper targets. Well, knock me sideways with a feather. Sergeant, if I didn't know any better, I'd say there was a little red book. Not a word. And that's my old son as a source of comfort to me on a cold night. And that sunny gym represents the high point of Eastern political thought, if you pardon the phrase. Ace. Exactly, I need a cop it. What do you make of that? Four no trumps. Oh, sorry, you're on rocks. Look, you working class have got to stop seeing us police and give them twit. It's just as creatures of habit, no brain. Heel boy, lie down, sit, seize him. Guard dogs, they can't have a voice or an opinion of their own. Heel boy, lie down, down, rover. Sergeant! Up here, second floor, next one, lads. <laughs> All right, take your point. Maybe we do see you as thick as pig shit. The present company accepted, of course. After all, we came from the same class, right? Sons of the soil, as we, as the populists say. <laughs> Sons of the soil? Don't make me laugh. Guard dogs for the ruling classes, defending their property, no right to exploit their fiddles, kickbacks. Well, if you think like that, why'd you choose the job? Choose? Do they choose to be this crap, the canary millers and the rabbit's heads? No, of course not, but there's nothing else. There is no choice. Exactly. Exactly my point precisely. What choice did I have? Emigrate, sweep the streets, or join the police. What would you do? It must be terrible. But you've got to have the law after all. The law? What if the law is purely for the benefit of the rich? Eh? Eh? <laughs> then you've got your democratic procedure. Laws can be reformed, you know? Reformed? Reforms have been here now for 30 years. Reforms? No, mate. If the people want change, they have to do it themselves. They have to melt the shackles of capitalism and the iron fists of oppression with the boiling blood of Karl Marx. <laughs> Where the workers must speak, the dust will not vanish of itself. You see what I mean? Yeah, not you. Anyway, come on, I have to do with this search, or I'll get shot. Fine, mate. First you're talking like a raving subversive, then you're getting down to your job of turning over innocent people's homes. You kill me! Yeah, well, not today. Look, I'm only human, and at this moment, at this precise moment, I haven't got the commitment, the courage, or the sheer get up and go, you know what I mean? At this moment, at this moment, I know what you mean. You're all win, mate. You're all left talk. Give me all this. Bollocks about having no choice, but then get into the police. And sorry about that, but I can't help it. Smashing people over the head. But there you go. Should have taken the other road. Emigrate. Road sweep. At least you'd have your bleeding dignity intact. You know where you'll be tomorrow. Not really. Beating me up on the picket lines where you'll be. Oh, you're right. So terribly trying to be right. Too right, I am right. But, but nevertheless, the police are stood back on occasions. I dare say, throwing themselves on the other side. Yeah? When? Venice Water Riots, August the 5th, oh. 1723. Oh, very relevant, very topical. I won't hold me breath till it happens again. Ah, uh, he of little faith. But remember, a revolution is not a dinner party, nor is it doing embroidery. The wheel of history is turning. <laughs> anyway, comrade, I better get on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Next, the died in the wool, raving, steeped in Marxism, out and out red copper, right in there with the lunatic fascists, the psycho bullies, the everyday street coppers. That's where the breathing extremists fetch up, obviously, and the police. And he had the neck to stand in front of me, 20 years a member, and criticize the CP from the left, too. Wait a minute. He was just trying to get me going. Provoke me. Assault the bastions of capital! Rebellion in the police! And if I fall for it and agree with him, what a freeze! You're under arrest! Oh, I didn't fall for it. Not me. Not interested in the beta. 
Might need a better baited hook to catch this fish. Now, I'll go back to the dog food. What's have, going on now? Have they been? Who? The police, they're searching every house. Oh, yes, I know. They already, they already arrested Mandatory and Pisani. They found stuff in their system. Good, I'll teach them. Oh, and I suppose that that's good too. They found a load of stuff that had been properly paid for. That's what happens when unprincipled louts go grabbing stuff at random. The innocent suffer too. At least we don't have to worry, they've been already. They've been? Sure. Oh, did they find anything? What was there to find? Oh, nothing. I mean, you think you've got nothing, and then they, you find out that they've planted stuff for you to frame you. Don't be daft. It's not the first time it's happened, you know. Rosa, from the fifth floor, while they were searching her son's room, they planted a gun and some leaflets under there. You really think they're coming around your planting packed a cornflakes under the sofa? Well, I don't know, Giovanni. Not exactly under the sofa, but it was for heaven's sake. Uh, I better have a look. No! <laughs> Why not? Take your paws off my cushions, Giovanni. Have a look. Nothing under there. See? Nothing. See? I'll check the cupboards. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Margarita. Margarita, where? Outside. What are you leaving out there for? Margarita, what are you doing out there? Come in. Are you all right? <laughs> what are you screaming for? <laughs> she's pregnant. She's in, uh, she's shocked from the police raid. <laughs> she was in complete shock. Your speech was because the police wanted to um, check out her stomach, but she was like, They wanted to what? Yeah, I know. They had this silly idea that she had some load of shopping inside there hiding it. Kind of swan. How do you feel now? Uh, she's still speechless. Oh, Come on, Margaret, let's sit down. Well, I had to bring her out here, didn't I, Giovanni? I can just leave her there. No, no. of course not. Let's get a coat off. No! Ooh, look at that, she's getting better already. She just spoke. <laughs> leave her alone. She's want to get changed. She's cold. It's hot in here. It's hot for you, it's hot for her! Go on, we should find her temperature. The temperature? She got something. Has she got something? I thought she's got something, Giovanni. She's pregnant. What should she have? <laughs> in fact, she's in labor. Already? What do you mean already? Go on, half an hour ago. Half an hour ago, you didn't even know if she was pregnant. It, Go on. it just seems a bit quick. You don't think she's premature? Christ, what do you know about being premature or not? Oh, suddenly you're the world's expert, are you? Know everything about it? God. Right. Come on. Get under the blankets. You turn around, she's gonna change. No, we're not! Shh! Come on, we'll get out of it, it's fine. How? Ow, 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 ow. Look, if she's in labour, we'd better get a doctor, a medical, an ambulance. That's a very clever idea, Giovanni. What will you do when we're driving around half a Milan looking for a bed? You know you have to book those months in advance. I didn't. She booked it, you nine months warning with a pregnancy. That is so typical. It's always up to us, is it? You give us a pay packet, it's insist on your conjugal rights, God forbid you should never go without those. And then we get pregnant. Surprise, surprise. Well, not a not a blessed thought for the woman who's pregnant, who is a Catholic and has double feature nightmares every single night with the Pope staring at her, looming in her eyes, saying, You're sitting, you know, you should bear children. <laughs> never mind the conjugal what's it's in the pipe, white right? greaves always trying to break our balls in two, you know, but never mind all that and the pill and the pay packet. When is she supposed to have got pregnant? Well, what's it to you, prime sod? Oh, I just meant they've only been married five months. Well, they've been going for four. Well, do you know? What are your bleeding morals? Less than that. Or have you thought of Of course not. I have. Just Luigi told me that they only made love after they were married. My Luigi has told you these things? Oh my god! No. Oh, what you've done? You've upset it with all your soppers or all your, your gossip. And um, imagine everyone talking about your intimate details behind your back. Funny. I'm not all and sundry. I'm his best friend. I mean, he asked my advice because I'm more experienced. Oh, yeah, in what? Don't answer that. <laughs> Who is it? Come in! Open up! Oh my god, no! It's all right, we've been done. Oh, hello, well, it's you again. <laughs> what do you mean again? I just meant you were the one who was here before? Unlikely story. It was, a police sergeant. Well, I'm the Spectre in the Carabinieri. Oh, I can see that. You've got a mustache. <laughs> I've been with you, my Spence. No, no, no. Right, we're searching here. I told you, we've done already. Well, we'll do this again, won't we? Oh, we're seeing and checking on each other, are you? Then we'll have, what, the Customs Police, then the Railway Police, and then the Alpine Regiment. Well, that's enough of that. We'll get on with our jobs. Oh, we all have to get on with that, do we? In our case, we're eight hours to get on the assembly line, like animals. And in your case, making sure we get on with it. And in most of all, making sure we pay the right price for everything. I mean, you don't ever check, for example, that the bosses pay what they've agreed, and keep up their promises. I mean, God! Oh, all of us starve to death. It's pitching it a bit strong, I tell you. Just so Where's he gone? They don't all think like that, you know? Whose side are 
do you want now? Yours, of course, but the previous search party, the sergeant had a belly full of being ordered about. I'm just a doggy, he said, you can't disobey. Down board and I down Rover! So they don't all think the same. What's that? Rover? What's the number of the little woman? She doesn't come into it at all. It's just other sergeant said that we think policemen are all ignorant twits. You know, servants are the most brutal exploiters, cats boys, watchdogs, no brains. <laughs> right, that's it. Hand up then. What for? Football, for offending and insulting an officer of the law and causing a fray. What a fray, what insults, you got it wrong. No, I was merely making the point to my wife that policemen aren't all the same that the other sergeant said that you were brainless servants of... of... Who? Me, the police? What? No, I don't know, Giovanni. Uh, no, he said you, meaning them, the other police. The carabinieri? No. Not the carabinieri, naturally, of course not. I mean, would he? Well, as he's not a mindless servant of the public. And quite right. Let him go. You watch yourself in the future. I will, don't worry. Now, where was I? No, don't ah! No! Ah! My God, what's that? What's the matter with her? She's in labour, can't you tell? Not really. Oh. Much of birth, five months at least. She had a trauma earlier when the police wanted to search the place. Search the place? That's right. I wanted to check out her belly. Yeah, uh, see if she was hiding, you know, rice, packed spaghetti up there. But of course, she's just a working woman without any influence. She's not really his wife who could really cause you some trouble. So go on, how about an all-round strip search? <laughs> yeah, go on, go on to turn it out, turn the whole place upside down. Uh, then you can fingerprint everything. You can take the wife's undies out. Why not? And all oh, then, and you can X-ray the place. And then, boy, cut it out. This is an incitement. Yeah, play it out, we're doing it. Uh, Don't you ever do it too? Have you called an ambulance? Yeah, ambulance? Well, that's the minimum facility you need to get someone to a hospital. <laughs> the only case, she might die on you. And if she's premature, she might lose her child. He's right. I told you we should have called an ambulance. And I told you that she hasn't got a bed booked, Giovanni. Where's the ambulance we call for the woman who fell sick upstairs? Not Rosa, but I think not. I don't know. Look, this is a real emergency. Help me carry her down. No, don't touch her. She doesn't want you to touch her. I don't, I don't want to talk. She doesn't want to go to hospital. I want my husband. She wants her husband. Luigi. She wants her husband, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi. She wants her husband, Luigi. God, I'm with you. I mean, with him working on nights. I don't want to go to hospital. Exactly. We can't take the responsibility for her. Well, that's true. We can't. Who can't? Will you take the responsibility if she dies on you? And what will the hospital do? It to be negligent. Their responsibility. You could sue. Uh, but it's premature. Yes, yes, I'm premature. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> and with all the jolting of the ambulance, she could give birth prematurely. Or it could die with all the jolting. Oh, die. You clean no notion of the advance of modern medicine. Clearly, you've had oxygen tents. What's a five month premature baby going to do in an oxygen tent camp? In extreme <laughs> cases, they can even transplant them. Transplants? Yes, easiest plan to perform a cesarean operation. Ha ha ha, oh my god, I don't want to. Now look what you've done, you've upset her. And transfer the whole shebang. Maybe we present her a whole lot to another woman who's had another cesarean. Another mother? And serve him up and bobs your uncle. Five months later, out comes the baby, fit as a fiddle yelling fit to bust. Sounds very dodgy to me. Baby born twice, a child and two mothers. <laughs> I mean, I'd never give my baby to another woman to deliver. You think I'm yes. not going to do it? Who can't? Well, she doesn't want to. Well, I'm part of she doesn't want to. Well, I, well, I can. On the, on the grounds of diminished responsibility due to extreme pain, never let it be said that the carabinieri are unhelpful or turn their backs and suffering. I protest, <laughs> Inspector, this is out and out violence. I mean, first they frisk us, then they handcuff us, and then they want to card us off an with, on an ambulance without a violin. I mean, really, if they won't let us live the way we want, at least let us die the way we choose. No, you can't die the way you choose. You live a law against it. Watch yourself. Leave off, Giovanni, it's no use. I'll get the stretcher. Uh, no, you should walk. <laughs> She's got enough troubles already. You can walk, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Great, yeah. No. No, a bit slippy. Oh. <laughs> Would you mind give us, giving us a minute? My friend's just a little bit naked. Right. All out. Wait, my husband finds out I'm pregnant with 
Oh, you are a nuisance, Margarita! What is going on? What? It's coming! It's well, coming! It's 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 coming! Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Poor old Luigi, getting back nap from a night shift to find himself fine. He'll have a heart attack. And then when he finds out his baby's been transplanted to another woman, he'll have a counter attack. <laughs> I'll have to break it to him gently. You ready? Round it that way. So with the Pope. It's round about enough. Yeah, you're this bolt. Fine, you're this bolt. It's that strange smell. Like a vinegar. Yeah, so brine. I'll be damned, didn't know we spent nine months in brine. <laughs> Ten minutes ago? Oh, where to? What to do? You know, women's things. What women's things? You know, women's business. None of our business. How is it none of our business? It's some of my business. What is? Is it suddenly, all of a sudden, how come you never booked a bed when you should have? Booked a bed? What for? What for? What for? Do you remember me? That's it. Men all over. <laughs> Give them the pay pack, you have to manage on that. Insist on the conjugal rights. Oh, and then, and then it's nightmares if you're a Catholic featuring the Pope and pray you take the pill and snap me! Do you me? What are you on about? I'm saying that we exploit them as surely as we're exploited by our boss. Okay, that's what you mean. But what has it got to do with Margarita leaving the door wide open without so much as a nose? Why should she leave a note and she doesn't expect you to be home until breakfast time? Tell me that. Eh? Why aren't you at work? Train was now broken down. No, we held it up. No, there's always breakdowns on the... You what? <laughs> well, the season two is about 30%. How oh, do you stop a train? Well, it's easy. You pull the alarm. There's me, Tonino, Marco. We get down on the tracks, hold up all the other trains. You should have been there. Been the moment. What are the trains? All of them, even the inner city and Paris Express. Brilliant. Ticket prices go up so the entire European railway network has to be disrupted. Why didn't I think of that? Marvellous! Don't you realise that these wild man guerrilla tactics may bite into the hands of the reactionaries? That's what I told the others. And there's no point in reducing the fares. We've got to abolish them completely. No fares at all! That's what I said. And the firm wants to pay us for the time we leave. Because when we're getting to work, we're getting to work. We're not. Going off sightseeing. What are you babbling about? I know. You've been talking to a bunch of maniac provocateurs, infiltrators, and police agents. Yeah. Tonino and Marco, police agents. No, I thought them up myself. But what is quite clear is it's no good us working people waiting for the government to do something. We can't expect a white paper from the government and a strongly worded declaration of intent every time we want to turn around and have a piss. If we don't do it for ourselves, then no one will. You haven't been talking to a sergeant with a moustache. You what? An extremist copper that goes around trying to incite supermarket riots. Never heard of him. Good this. You've been eating that. Yeah, 
So I'm fine. You had it without lemon? Mm -hmm. Should I put lemon on it? I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure it tastes alright? Yeah, not bad. Try some. Good, isn't it? Mm, not bad. You want to start on the other one? Certainly. What is it? Mm. You know, the usual stuff. Pate for rich cats and dogs. Pate for rich cats and dogs. Are you bummed? Look all day. Yeah. Taste this. What is it? Speciality of mine. Minute soup garnished with frozen rabbit's heads. Frozen. So they went rot. Speciality dead amazing. The millet. It's about underdone. It's the secret of the recipe. Underdone millet. <laughs> Who's gone and eaten that olive? <laughs> what olive? Oh, that olive? Shouldn't I have? Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> it's your wife's olive. Why? He even licks the food from his baby's mouth. <laughs> My wife's olive, the baby's mouth. What are you talking about? Don't you know nothing? You've heard of natural birth, the rhythm method. You have heard of biology. No, not a lot. <laughs> There's all this brine stuff jumping about, see? No, I'll start from the beginning. See, step by step, sounds like a plan. Right. Step by step. Start from the beginning, yeah? Let's put Paul. Uh huh. Yeah. Nagging all the women, scaring the pants of them with pregnancy. The Pope's pregnant. Not him, your wife. I'm talking about your wife. My wife's been seeing the Pope. I see. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. You know what the Pope's been saying in your wife's dreams? I have no idea. Don't take the pill, my son. But she doesn't take the pill. So you do know what? She, she doesn't, doesn't take the pill. I just told you. Who told you? No one told me. I already knew. There's no point in the pill. There's something wrong with the waterworks. There's nothing wrong with the waterworks. Yeah, I just had to mop it all up. You've mopped up my wife's waterworks. <laughs> not exactly water. More like wine and a few olives. You just eat the wine. <laughs> You've lost me. Can we go back to the Pope? Yes. <laughs> Margarita had herself all bandaged up, uh -huh. see? And Antonia made her undo it, and what about it popped? My Margarita? Yeah, so they got into the hospital and out the dentist because she was about to give birth and get him. No, there. Oh, leave it out, will you? I want to know where my wife is. I told you, in hospital. Which hospital? Well, if you'd booked a bed, we'd know, wouldn't we? As it is, the poor little bleed, I'd probably be born in the ambulance on the way there with all them olives. Oh, leave the olives out of it. <laughs> Which hospital? It's the, the gynecological clinic. Do you mean baby clinic? They transplant the premature babies from one belly to another. Transplants? Yeah. Baby <laughs> transplants? <laughs> <laughs> no! That's it. It's obviously it's gross of the modern techniques of premature delivery. Yes, I am! They get a baby tent, uh -huh. blow it up with, like, oxygen, and then they put the mothers on it. No, it's the fathers. <laughs> no, I mean the kid. And then they get the other woman who just had a cesarean for your tonight. Oh, well, cut it out, will you? It's exactly what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a monkey's about no fully automatic cesarean or baby tent. I want to know where my wife is. Where's the phone book? I haven't got one. Why not? No phone. Fine, I'll go to the bar, they've got one. Oh, hold it! Niguada. Niguada Clinic. Niguada. Mm. Blimey, that's on the other side of town. What are they taking her there for? I told you, it's where they've developed this new special technique. The baby transplant. <laughs> they get the other woman. First one prepared to take the baby off the dome. That friend, perhaps. They take it to the hospital. It's not loony enough to contemplate that idea in the first place. Anyway, they get this woman and... <laughs> My wife! <laughs> Whoa! She's so stupid, she has to get straight away! I'm sorry, Luigi, I can't get my permission! Well, who asked for your permission? I'm the next of kin! Not to me, you ain't! I am the husband! No, you're the husband to the second mother, I'm the husband to the original mother. The transplanted mother is mine. I'm giving my permission, that's that. You sure? No. <laughs> I told you, if you go through with this, I'll pack her off to live with you. She already does. My wife. I mean, she's gonna feed your kids and keep me too. Why are you two? I'm the other father, ain't I? But you're not the other father, I'm the only father. I'm the first other other father. You can't be the first other other father. That doesn't make sense. Luigi, if you swear the number of babies, why do you swear a baby? That is cruel! <laughs> Blimey, look at the time, we've been gone for 
24 hours. Well, at least the ambulance will great. I wonder where he is. Oh, he must be at work. I can't even get a kit yet for all the stuff. You know what? Dozy cow. Is he? No, he's not. One. Oh, it's all your fault. You oh. never listen to me. Look, cut the lights for us. Stop whining. The ambulance will great. Yeah, they were. And so think, you were worried. You shouldn't be so nervous, you know. I mean, really. Oh. Who do you the butter? Oh. Hello, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, Giovanni's made soup. Oh, can your Luigi look after himself when you're not around? Oh. Gosh, oh, I wonder what flavour it is. <laughs> nice aroma. <laughs> Minute. <laughs> Very experimental. <laughs> what do he's put in? Rabbit heads. God, you can't even tell a lie without swallowing it. Right, I'm going to make a soup. Oh, you should hear the fuss I hear when I put something in front of him. It'll be curry rabbit heads from now on. What's going on for you, Margarita? Listen, if you're only making the soup for me, don't bother. Oh, no. I'm not hungry suddenly. My stomach's all knotted up. Well, this will not it for you. I mean, Margarita, you really shouldn't be so nervous, you know. I mean, most people are decent under me. Not everybody, of course, but people like us. Working people, having a job, making ends meet. People like that are on our side, and as long as you show them that you won't let the bosses kick you in the teeth, and that you're willing to fight for your rights, and you don't let some pizza leave us pearly gates and do it all for you. I mean, <laughs> I remember when I worked in a biscuit factory. What a bloody job. But it was a living. It was a living, that is, until the owners decided to rationalise the place, as they call it, because profits were down. In fact, they were only telling us that because they wanted to close it completely. So, we occupied the place, all 300 of us. We formed a cooperative, especially the union leaders. It's a losing battle, brothers, they told us, but do you know what? All of us put every single spare penny we could into that factory, and some bloke even sold us flat. And then, when things got bad for us, some workers from the factory opposite, I mean, thousands of them, collected money for us. All wrapped up in a big dishcloth. I mean, I'll never forget the day that they brought it in. Again, all wrapped up in a big dishcloth. They just plopped it all on the table. We were kneading dough as usual, and we all started to, rain like, we all started to cry like rain into the dough. <laughs> But, so we just stood there, we just kneaded the dough and went on normally, I mean... Margaret, what are you crying for now? It's the story! Well, what about it? <laughs> it's so moving! It's <laughs> everywhere! Yeah, well, before we get all drowned, don't need to get what I'm saying. It's not a fairy story, you know, we just want to have the end. Well, what do you think? The see boom movement, didn't they? They persuaded us to negotiate with management and that was the end of it. Another 300 jobs at the spout. Oh, the fight's ahead with you and about that. I nearly left him before this git. What are you doing? I'm loading. Oh, don't do it here. We'll take it to Dad's allotment shed. It'll be safe there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm dead tired. I don't want any of it. I'm leaving the lot here. Oh, you dozy cow! Oh, I see. I'm a dozy cow, am I? Well, you, with all your bright ideas, can figure out what I'm going to tell my old man when he finds out I'm not pregnant at all. Well, that's simple. We'll just... Tell her that you had a fancy pregnancy. What's that? Simple. Happens all the time. A woman thinks that she's pregnant, her belly swells up, and then when the, birth, the baby's about to come out, she just gives birth to a whole lot of air. That's not very nice. How could it happen to me? Well, simple. The Pope kept coming into your dream saying, have the child, my child, and then you have the child, only it was a whole lot of air. Just like the Pope. Antonia, how could you bring the Pope into this business? Well, he's always bringing us into his business. I mean, do this, do that, all you wops keep off my grass. I mean, why like, can't women be priests? You'd be a great priest, Margarita. You're a great listener. Do you think so? Right, I'm off. I'll be back in ten minutes, and if there's soup, you watch the soup. Oh, why can't we forget this whole belly business and just take it all over in one trip? And what will you do when the law stops you? God, look, if it goes out, uh, why is it this day? What's that? It's too funny he's well there. You just think it like this. Box. It's not an iron, Margarita. It's made of a stuff called antimony, and it gets really hot without a blow, so don't touch it. Now. There we go. Right, I'm off. I've changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Good, you've been thinking about my biscuit factory. Yes, but I'm willing to cooperate. You know, all this here reminds me of my baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm a man now. Couldn't wait to get out and get a job. You got out all right, still waiting for a job, though. <laughs> What's that? I don't want to wasn't even get one. Yeah, mind you, they won't break your spirit. I'll just get cross. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Let's go.
because you don't like it. If they say on the phone that your wife isn't at the hospital, you have to check it out. Don't you trust them? Would you? With baby transplants. Okay, why don't you mention it? No. My feet are killing me. Oh no. What? Rain. Shit. Bloody government. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's give up. I'm getting off to work. I must tie you in. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to tell you about the fur. Yeah? Yeah. What's the meaning of it? Doing about what? Yeah. The fur. You know, the fur. Yeah, you're supposed to be telling me. I know I'm telling you. But you, you, know, you don't know? I haven't been at work for four days. <laughs> what? What? Jeez, look at that. What a mess. It's a juggernaut. Must have skidded. And then jackknifed. It sucks. Oh, someone needs to watch them or they're gonna be net. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so, Matt, don't panic! Everyone's alright! Don't worry, nothing's wrong, don't panic! Who's panicking? <laughs> Hello! Keep meeting him and me. No, no. Commence. I can't work him out. He's either a Maoist or an agent provocateur. Agent provocateur, definitely. Just it. what I was thinking. Stand back, that's dangerous stuff. Blow in his hand. It won't blow, it's. Caustic soda. It says so on the lorry. That's what it says on the outside, but looks can be deceiving. Don't trust it. <laughs> I didn't know you don't, I? Yeah, it was around my house. Oh yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, things aren't always what they seem. Blind, mate. We're talking about clearly labelled international road transport. We're talking about common market regulations. We're talking about border certificates in triplicate. And I'm talking about something else. When the rain gets into that soda, it's going to smolder into a right smelly old pudding, so someone better get it out of the rain. You're right! How are we going to do that? Shouldn't be too much of a problem, Giovanni. Let's just have a look. Giovanni. The best thing is we form a chain. Giovanni! Organize those fellows over there, get the stuff back over there. Very good idea. I'll get them going. You man the soda. Brilliant idea. Oi! You know! Give us a hand with these bags! <laughs> Fuck me and my big ideas. You will never listen in love, will you? Come on, pass him along! Come on, that's the way! Look at that. Ask for help, but you've got it. Shouldn't be such a pessimist. Everyone's mucking you. I never said people weren't generous. No, you said I'm a trustful old bird. I had a boss once like you. Couldn't trust anyone but this mangy old dog of his. Love this dog. Sorry to find a deaf A deaf Yeah, that's right. For a dog. That's right. So he bought the dog the deaf aid, strapped the battery to the dog's belly. <laughs> and? And what happened was, first time the dog cocked his leg to have a piss, pissed on the battery, electrocuted himself to death. <laughs> oh dear. There's a moral to that story. Can't think what. Where are the drivers? Gone for help? No, fell a bunk. Why? Let's find out. Sugar! Flour! Rice! <laughs> Someone's made a mistake with the lady. Just as I thought. It's contained at the depot and the seals aren't broken until they get there. They're flogging it round you up. You get better prices than Switzerland. Yeah. A little bit of funny bookkeeping, a little forged papers and no one's the wiser. Yeah, unless they happen to turn over the road. I mean... They're telling the truth for once when they talk about shortage. They're running all about the country. No wonder there's a shortage. 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 What about the Butter Mountain, the Beaujolais Lake, the Leaning Tower of Pizza? It's not shortage. It's excessage. <laughs> you clearly have no notion of the workers of the common market. Certainly don't. Show me in. It's to do with the Portuguese and Greek economy. They're not in the common market. Exactly. But they will be. And then you will need a strong voice mark. Oh yeah. Of course your German economy is dependent on the car industry, but none of you can afford those dirty red Mercedes and BMWs. <laughs> so? Simple. You pay your French farmer dirty great subsidies to pay for the dirty great German cars. You've lost me. It's simple. It's like the Irish thing. Of course it is. They keep running them forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards over the border, picking up common market subsidies each time. Only thing is, which army get bad when they fix that beat because they can travel on foot. Take the slurry, for example. You drive all over Europe, and every time you cross the border, you pick up your subsidies. And you save on labour costs because no one has to unload it. You'll have to take action. Oh, I will, most definitely. But what's the matter now? 
You know what's going to happen here? What? I shall write a full report. A model of brevity and precision, the results of which charges will be laid. A brief item on the news at 10 will allude to a brilliant police operation where contraband was seized and men are sold. Julia routed the industrialists to make a quick and fortuitous trip over the border. Having laid my evidence before the judge, he will, with a pain expression because it's kind of like Welch when you're own kind, sentence them to four months. The industrialists will hear about this while selling themselves on the beaches of Saint Tropez and appeal to the president, who can meet the sentence to a stiff fine. That's the end of it? By no means. They will appeal to a stiff fine and get on with a stiff talking to. You what? And they get their sugar by the flower back. Boy, you lot! What are you doing with a It's criminal, that's what it is. It's the gun, Grab a bag of four! We're going to work oh yeah? Oh yeah, uh, you're going mad, you're sending to the level of that rabble over there. That rabble over there? Jesus, what's all this middle class shit? You sound like a social democrat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not that bad. <laughs> I don't steal, but is it mine? Well, it is yours. So steal away. Do I have to spell it out for you? Who processes it and packs it? Who sews it and reefs it? Who cooks it and eats it? Ouija. This is a slippery slope you're on. You won't have a principal bone left in your body soon. And that's just the excuse they want. Who? The military. That's who. All they have to do is call this a breakdown law and order. Then they can roll up the troops and the tanks, suspend the constitution, and the before you can say Fettuccini, we have fascism! What do you suggest <laughs> then? Legal action through the unions. Oh, terrific! Against the unions, are we? Alright. Who suspended? The entire workforce it fears to strike during the dinner hour. Who <laughs> organised the women today? Not the unions. You see these hands, they want what says, but your union and your precious party tie them behind our backs. And that's when the gut army take over. Not when you're being on the offensive, but when you're being led up the garden. No, but we want leadership, mate. And that reminds me, I was gonna tell you about the fire! Yes! What's going on? What's going on here? Do you mind what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Bumper off! <laughs> <laughs> We're slogging away here for the balance of payments. What are you doing with them bags? These. I don't see any other from the bags that's in the place. <laughs> <laughs> Moving them to a safe place. Where did you get them? Back of the lorry. <laughs> I bet. We're trying to be helpful, that's all. Yeah, helping yourselves. Well, what's the sergeant? He said to move them, he told us to. Which sergeant? Over there. Shot. <laughs> Nobody can get shot! Yeah, the police have a funny habit of accidentally shooting people on purpose. Bastard! <laughs> Mind you, he's alright. He's the one who helped your wife into the ambulance. Go! Stop the olives! <laughs> so I might as well just that phone. Yeah? What's the thing doing about that thing go off? Boy! Inspector! <laughs> Inspector! Inspector! It's gone again. Dave, um, we've been made redundant. We haven't, nobody told me. We have. Oh, that's it. That's it. Pass me my bag. You can't do that. Who can't? It's ours, ain't it? Oi! Freeze! Inspector! Catch! Shit, look. What? The 
bleeding. Cop has been following us without the town doing the nicking. Why does he have to pick on us? You'll know where you live. You'll be waiting on your when you get there. You're right, you're right. All right, we'll go around yours. Good yeah. plan, good plan, good plan. It's really good to live out before my grand. Yeah. Right, mate. Hello. <laughs> Come on, Margarita, this is the last trip. Thank goodness, load up, unload, load up, unload. I feel like I'm going to stop moaning. Look, it's not salad to last a month. Yeah, I did go, go, I did go a bit overboard with the salad. I really hope we don't get caught on this trip. I didn't get fresh with a belly full of celery. Oh, you've got a point there. Right, um, I'm gonna check on this. Oh, they've cut the gas off, bloody bastards! It'll be the, it'll be the electricity next. Christ. <gasps> Who is it? I have a message from your husband. Oh my god, something's happened! Don't be in the salad! Stop it! Oh, Stop. take away from me, you're making! Please! Stop! Ah. You can't touch a thing! Ah. You can't fool me with them face of yours! Oh, what happened? Oh. Right, oh. open up! This isn't a joke, right, are we? Don't you think I haven't figured out the most up around by with the bellies? There was a time to me where I thought I was going mad. Every woman from the input of eight, the great grandmother of 88, pregnant! Well, exactly, that explains it. Surely you've heard of the feast of Saint Eulalia? Can't I have? What's that to the point? Yes! Saint Eulalia, the, uh. She was barren until... Patron saint of fertility, that's what it is. She was barren until 60 and then was miraculously blessed with a child Sixth, by our Lord. 60 years old? Yes, her old man was 80. Not all our saints, are we? Might be a guy. Anyway, uh, to celebrate Saint Eulalia, all the women in the town go about with um, fake bellies. <laughs> what a touching tradition. And this tradition using car bronze to the supermarkets. What small a powerful religion in this day and age. Right, enough of the fires, Twaddle. Open up. Oh, oh, yes, have the clothes on our backs, why don't you? That's it, go ahead. If you lay one finger on our belly, a terrible thing will happen to you. Like what? Uh, the, uh, the curse of St. Julia. Yeah, that. The curse. <sighs> the same curse as the fellow old man when he first laid out on her pregnant. Pregnant, he says? Uh, uh, give us a favor, I'll show us to be under there, because it can't be mine, that's for sure. And if it is, then I'll call the police and I'll tell you, uh, is it not mine? <laughs> so, Sidney Lallier exposed herself, so to speak, and out came a cascade of roses. <laughs> what a lovely little story. Oh, I'm not finished, Jenny Spector. <laughs> no, no, no. So, soon after, a heavy darkness fell upon his eyes, and I can't see, he said, I go blind, he said. A minute later, I am blind. And then, Sidney Lallier uh, said, see what God does to unbelievers. Can this get better than better? Yes, it does. Really? Of course. Oh, all right then. So, soon after, out came the cascade of roses, and out of the cascade of roses came a little baby boy, just ten months old, speaking perfect Italian and with a perfect set of teeth. Papa, he said, they love what it gives you. Um, he touches the old man, it's right on the head, and he falls down dead there and then, but peacefully. Mike, <laughs> right, that's you, the roses. Oh, uh, well. That's enough, isn't it? Come on, let's see the roses. So you're afraid of the curse? No. Oh. Well, you've asked for it then. Margarita, do the poem. The, the, the poem? Yeah, the poem. The poem? Yeah! Oh, oh yeah, the exposure poem. Oh, yes, yes. Say you, Lally, I'd expect to say the exposure poem. <laughs> he that says there ain't in your deeds no miracle. In your words, no oracles. Oracles? Yeah. <laughs> Make his vision dark and thick. Make the bastard bloody sick. Sick, you lally him. Touch his head. Make him fall down completely. Oh, nothing. Dead. Oh, very good. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> One, two, three. Cool, Rob, what's all that? Oh, good lord, it's salad. Fancy that. Salad. Yes, lettuce, <laughs> sugary, carrots, and cabbage. Oh, I've got cabbage too. Oh, and a tasty bit of parsley. Oh, so you can That's really difficult to get nowadays. Oh, yes, the cabbage, the miracle. <laughs> Come on, let's see the roses. Roses are very expensive. Can I afford them? Yes, 
I mean, in hard times, one makes one miracles one can get at the bed you've got handy. And miracles aren't legal, you know. Don't be so sure of it. Surely. There's no law that says a person can't carry a mixed salad down a cart in their belly. Don't bank on it. A few good kids can't hurt. Don't be filthy, but what does it all mean? Mean? What does it all mean? I've told you what it all means, Inspector. Every year we carry bellies full of celery and everything or else. All the pain of some fearful, terrible pain, and it, you could get struck like a... It's getting dark. Is it? Yes, yeah, no, 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 it's getting dark. Uh, well, I don't see perfectly clear now, Margarita. No, no, not really. Yes! <laughs> yes, perfectly fine. No, it's gone out of stock. We can both see, can't we? Oh, my goodness, Lord, he's gone blind! <laughs> The Lord! Ah! Uh, that! He's touched this man! Yes! Ah! Uh, uh, I'll turn a light for you, see? But it won't work. On, off, on, off, on, off, see? See? See, do you see? I can't see! Ah! Uh, Quick, show me the window. Oh, it's over here. No, over here! Mind the chair! What? Oh, oh no, he's gone into the chair. Oh, uh, my room! What? Oh, 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 wow, what a bright flame, see? Wow, what a bright flame. I can't see you if my money's real. Oh, are you bummy? You'll burn yourself. Oh, I won't burn myself. What? The heavens. The Lord of Faces, man. Yes, he is. Quick, show me the door. Oh, it's over here. No, over here. on the inside. What for? My wife. Scared ships of thieves. What's she worried about? You can't get in and you live here! Mm. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I remembered. My key. It's on your kitchen table. Can't go back there. Why not? Give us shoes, aren't we? An inspector will be waiting for us. I'll let him go bored and gone home. Oh, here, he's a bleeding terrier. They never let go. Uh, I can't oh, What was that? Um, 
probably a neighbour. Quick, quick, hide the sacks! They won't notice it. Act casual. <laughs> I wonder if you... What are you standing on them sacks for? <laughs> what sacks? Those ones. There. <laughs> on the ground. Underneath your feet. Oh, those ones! <laughs> um, we, we... We were... Um, Keeping our feet dry from the rain. Ah. Anyway, do you know Sergio Prampolini? Um, third floor, but he's away in hospital very ill. Um, he's not there anymore. I must have discharged himself. Eh, not really. Oh, he must be better then, that's good. No, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> dead, that's bad. Jesus, that's terrible! I oh, know, I'll never get used to it. I've been in the packing business for 20 years. Packing? Yes, I pack coffins. Touch my wood. Sorry, but it's forced to have it. It's alright, everybody does it. When I look in the mirror, I do it myself. <laughs> Charming. 20 years, and I'm still not used to death and grief and sorrow. The weeping widows and distraught children. Deary me. I mean, if you're any sort of human being, you'll never get used to it. When will the family be back? What use will they be? They don't want the body, do they? Well, it's in the hospital, so the rent is not If they don't have it, God knows where it is. No, the problem is, what am I going to do with the cop? Leave in the hall. And have kids aerosol in political statements all over. What do you take me for? <laughs> Besides, I've got to get signed for. What about, we can't help you, mate? You live here, don't you? To me? Oh, you can sigh. Wait, wait till the family come back and pass on to them. I've only got a little flat. It's only a little flat. <sighs> Look, I can't help you. I'm locked out myself. Oh, well. Back to the pub. Giovanni, I'll take it off your hands, Giovanni. Can I trust you? I live around here. It's a deal. Right, I'll go get it. Jingle Barney! Are you Barney? We have enough to deal with, let alone we've got other people's coffins! Luigi, answer me this! How did the Viet Cong get their weapons into Saigon? I'm sorry, Bradley Moss, I'll pass on that one. In coffins! <laughs> Fantastic! Thanks for the socialist history, that's in helps get rid of the bags! Oh! Ready! Uh, I'll be the corpse, you can be the widow, you can carry it for the undertaker. I don't think widows carry coffins too often. They ain't got the legs for it. Neither do I. There's no answer to that. I'll tell you what, I'll borrow his hat. <laughs> Let me look at the other one. Which other one? That copper? Um, the one with the moustache. There's the one that handcuffed me. Which one that handcuffed oh, you? You weren't there! Oh, such you, Antonia! Here we are with a dead copper in our hands, and you're still playing silly buggers with the salad! Oh, well, what else were you? This is the last trip anyway, and besides, as for him, if he's dead, then he's dead, and if he's alive, then he'll thank the Lord for getting his sight and health back, and for I'm dead Britain. Oh, very funny! Where do we need to move him? Uh, we can put him in the cupboard. Do we, we have to touch him? No, I'll wrap him in the carpet. Oh, why don't we just drag it? Oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh, crush my back! Oh. Please! Oh. Uh, turn! Oh. Come on! Well, so well. Oh. Can you oh. get the door? Oh, you dozy cow! Oh, I'm a dozy cow! Oh, oh, right. Oh, coat off. Oh, oh, don't drag him. Be yes, he's dead. Oh, he's been through enough. Grab his shoulder. Oh, Jesus, he was done. He's in there. No, don't close it. Coat. It's raining. It's raining. I'll get my wellies and body. Good idea. Anyone home? No. 
Hey? Nobody's home. You're here. So I am. I think so. <laughs> so I am. What are you laughing at? I'm hysterical. Mm. Where did you get that hat? Where did you get that hat? It's nice, hat? isn't it? What about you? I tromp over half of my land with you. You're all right, and the baby, you haven't lost it. Tell you what, Antonia is so much better at explaining things than me. I'm going to go get her. Right. Ready! What was that? What was what? I heard a voice. A uh, voice? I can explain everything. So can I. You can? I'll get Antonia. <laughs> right, bring it in. Antonia, hurry up! Oh, you're a bit of cake, Margarita. Women are in. Oh, she goes to my hat. I've still got four deliveries to make. I don't know. Goodbye. Weeping widows are strong children. All these big changes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to tell Antonia? Um, I know. We will lock the door. Put the sacks under the sofa. And the coffin into the cupboard. Get them well out of sight. Jeez, I don't think we have this much. It's the yo-yo thing. <laughs> of course it is. When you look at things upside down. What are you talking about? When Indians have nothing to eat, they stand on their heads and imagine as much food as they can eat. So, nah, still stop. Why don't they do it? That was me. I thought you had a grandma that was in here. No, that was just an odd. Uh, excuse me, mate. <laughs> no, 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 in there. <laughs> Funny that. What's that? It works. What does? The yoga effect. First, our food doubles in quantity. Thank <laughs> And you like this one. I get this silly notion there's an inspector in your cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> silly you. <laughs> yeah, silly me. Right, that's it. I'm going out. Don't blame me if I let it all out. I love the bedroom door. And then, um, that's casual. Casual. <laughs> Margarita! <laughs> How are you? You well, baby? Well? Good question. Uh, what the bloody hell is going on? <laughs> Giovanni! Hi! You're back! Yes, I'm back. Yes, Giovanni is back. Yes, uh, Giovanni. Luigi! Yes, yes. me. Hello, <laughs> Luigi. Hello, Antonia. I'm here too. Hi, nice. You've had it. Had a what? The transplant. Uh, the transplant? Yes, only a little bit. Which bit? Uh, looking out of work. I told you she's a stupid. She's only gone and done a cesarean. How little, do you find? How little? Little enough to work. You see? And what about you, dear? Antonia? What are you asking her for? Don't you know? How could she know? Born and prepared. She was under the anaesthetic. Weren't you under the anaesthetic? What is this, dear man? Some sort of third degree and... <laughs> Oh, I don't come into it, I suppose. I'm worthless. I'm nothing. 
How can you treat her like this? Look, she's no one upset. Go on, uh, you look after her. Got to go out. What? With the weather you freeze, think of the child lie down. Can I come in? Dad! Come in! Hi, Dad. Dad, these are my friends. Welcome to Luigi's, my father. How do you do? How do you do? Shanae, mm. know your dad. He looks a bit Don't say it. I know. The fellow with the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Antonia! How young you're looking. Dad. That's Antonia on the sofa. Is she sick? Are you sick? No, she's expecting. Who? A child. Why, where's he got it? <laughs> oh, you're back already. <laughs> Hello, lad. You must not keep your mother waiting. He's a big lad, ain't he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've got a letter for you. Sent to me by Mr. Who from? Complete owner of this block. He says he hasn't paid the rent in four months. Oh, here's another from the gas. They got their money out. So did it. What? Give me those! This has to be. I've always paid my way, haven't I, Antonio? No. Yes, we've always paid our way, Dad. I can't understand this for the life of me. This has to be a mistake, definitely. The Luigi, turn on the light. Got it. Oh, no. On. Off. On. Off. There's a problem. What's going on now? Funny. Funny. Antonio, we have paid those bills. Antonio, tell me we paid! Look at him! Screaming at a pregnant woman! If you carry on like this, I'll have this baby forever tour or worse! I'll have to have another transplant. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Don't shout me. Yeah, let's start. Right, I'll speak soft. Just answer the question. What was the question? Have we paid the gas and the rent and the electric? Oh, no. Matt, <laughs> it's come back to me. Well? No. You all cut! What have I been working on my life for? Eh? Have I been working so I just get cut off? Sorry, 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 the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Margarita has paid. Margarita has, haven't you, Margarita? You've paid. Of course she has. <laughs> haven't you, Margarita? Tell him. Has it happened? I haven't. You what? <laughs> well, now you all know. Margarita and I and we're just all the other ones on the floor, we're just a bunch of old slags. Uh, we've been spending all your hard-earned money on trips to Rome to buy latest Paris creations and all that. Why didn't you ask for more money? You didn't have any more to ask for, Giovanni. What should I have done? You should have told me. Why didn't you ask? Oh, I'll be there. Everything will turn out for the best. Who says? I said. <laughs> <laughs> now, now what you want. Yeah. Anyway, Why not? I'm entitled, it's fine for you, but I'm up to here and debt you to this totally irresponsible tea leaf! Oh, that's it. Call me a whore and how about a thief while you're at it? All of this ain't veg or spag, it's... This ain't a baby, it's veg and spag! And more veg and more spag! <laughs> all in it! Margarita, what happened to the kid and the transplant? And the baby transplant? Oh, belt up for once! Margarita. Yes? It's all a con. The entire thing. To think, I was worried to death about your health. It was all a pack of lies. Yep, the whole thing, a whole pack of lies. I'm not half going to give you one. Don't be hasty. Right, I'll kill her slowly. I'll mangle her into little pieces. Well, I'm not thinking about all the news. Uh, look up. Ta-ra! Ta-ra! Nice to have met you. Let me out of Do you know what? Let 
don't have me. I'm so tired and sharp. So tired of this shitty life, Jim, honey. I'm so sick of it. We hear it this morning. Indig Indig Indignation. Yeah, that. Our kids are chucked out on the scrap heap every single day. And what are we supposed to... Oh, God, forget it. I don't know what I'm all about. Do you know what I'm just talking about me? Don't. Oh, oh, my. Oh. I'm leaving heaven the stairs. Well, that's good. I'm going to live around your place, Luigi. Oh, that's bad. No, oh, what? Luigi, you're my wife. I'm your wife, but you're my husband. What are you on about? Well, you're not the bloke I married. You're not the Giovanni I knew, that's for sure. Where's the real Giovanni body? Make soup! Oh, if you think like that, go on. Or leave and the little Luigi's take the bleeding sugar with you. What? It's under the sofa. We nicked it today. No, that's our stuff. No. We nicked it. He's right. We nicked it. Three sacks worth. All three of them. You blimmin' old hypocrite, you two-faced sodbox, I'd rather starve than the nearly stolen food, you two-faced sodbox, Giovanni! Leave it out. Well, I'm off. Come on, Luigi. Margaritas are everyone. Don't be hey, Just you. because you're right doesn't mean you have to stand around gloating. Just got one lot of you. Hear him out, Margarita. You might change your mind. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did you say it was your right? You heard me, I'm not going to repeat myself. No, I feel sick. What's that? About today, about tomorrow. Go on, what do you want about? It's the youngsters at the canteen today. It's, it's Luigi and Marco and Tonino at the railways. All the people on the streets today with groceries up their jumpers. And, and, and I, I don't know, I'm confused. Confused about what? I don't know. You left that. Yeah, me. You don't come into it. He does. No, I don't. That's exactly what gets me in the ghoulies. Go on. Where were the women today? They were... Nick, no they weren't. They were making a stand. Where have I been all my life? I don't... No, I'm confused. Oh, really? Oh, no, right, but really, 20 years. 20 years to learn what I've learned. And what have you learned? I don't... No! You are a slow learner. Yeah, uh, sneer you may, okay, but I'm falling, Luigi. It's what I've done! I fell in, finally! Then all the people complaining about the streets today with groceries up their jumpers were looking for leadership. That's what they're saying. Get in there, old cop! There's a fight on! And they're saying it to the unions. And the rights are on the rampage. And they're saying, we want the bread and the biscuits for their politicians, so shut your cake off! And us, the so-called opposition, is wobbling in his boots. We need a pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and roll our sleeves up and get weaving up to our elbows or else someone will hit the carpet up from under us and we'll be up shit's creek without a paddle. I know what you mean. Yeah, well buzz off a lot of you. I've got some thinking to do. What about? Not today, about you. Are you asking me to stay? I think he is. I Aren't think so. you, Giovanni? Yeah. I didn't say that. Well, I will. You will? Of course I will, don't argue. I'm not arguing, I was just... just about up this hug. Oh, isn't it lovely? At last. Oh, who is it? Blood! Open it up! Quick, not everything! Oh. Stop! Stop it! Ah! Praise the merciful saint. And look at me. I'm a pregnant modern bonus. I'm a mother. I'm a mother! Love has got into it. 